Welcome to the Shits Like He Made Me Watch. I'm your host, Casey, here tonight with another shitty review. Now, my good friend Slinky, he hasn't recommended a good movie in a very long time. This is what happened when that dude banged this chick. He got a whole litter of shit. I'm here to talk to you about Hobgoblins Part 2, released in 2009. And I don't know why you would make a sequel try to make it look like an 80s film. All the characters with the same names, similar outfits. But then you throw in cell phones and the internet and your whole 80s thing gets thrown out the door. You steal lines from Scream like, Don't say you'll be right back, because you're going to die. Really? Come on now. This movie starts out at a hospital with the same group of friends are there with their professor and they're doing some type of project of some type. You end up seeing the security guard from the first one that blew up the building because no one believes him about the hobgoblins. So he's there and now there's like a Candyman, Bloody Mary type thing. If you say hobgoblins three times, they appear. No hobgoblins, hobgoblins, hobgoblins. Oh, so scary. Come on. Like, what? Stop. Just get yourself your own ideas. Don't steal shit from other people. Bring something original. You know, it's hobgoblins. You had something going in the first one. Yeah, it was shit. But at least it was somewhat funny. This one, they just tried so hard that you couldn't even laugh at it. So terrible. Later on, there is a trailer shown. For chainsaw chicks, and one of the chicks runs up with a hedge trimmer. Like, why? And you know how they say, like, it's on like Donkey Kong? Well, this movie sucked Donkey Dong. God, it's something like, I don't know how I even sat through this shit. The professor does try it out, and he says Hobgoblins three times, and he gets scared so bad, he ends up in the hospital himself. Later in the movie, a cop asks if he's been smoking dope. And says, no, if you know where to get some, let me know. Like, who who does that shit? I mean, maybe they got some good shit, you know, hidden away somewhere. But still, you never ask for that shit. Once again, we have the friend that has a sex chat line addiction. But this time, it's online. And with the same girl, Fantasia. And she looks pretty nice. So that was cool to have her in there. There's a nurse with some very nice assets. But no payoff. Never get to see any nudity in this movie. No gore. No nothing. And once again, they're just puppets. So in some of the scenes, the characters will just grab the hobgoblin and then pull it to themselves and then be like fighting with it. And so it just, it just looks bad. It could have done something. I mean, it's 2009. With all the new technology, just something else could have been done with this shit. Later on in the movie... The old guy, the security dude, Grady, ends up getting broken out by one of the characters. And their idea is they're going to face their fears. One girl has a fear of puppets. So they have, like, one puppet pop up. Two are, like, hanging on a string. And she basically just talks shit to each of them until they drop and go away. Next guy, his fear is the loss of a sex chat and his credit card. So he ends up cutting the credit card in half. And the girl comes out of the screen while the other dude just beats the shit out of the computer. Just stupid shit. The one military guy, he is afraid of combat. <laughs> so he goes outside and fights these hobgoblins. And the last one is the fear of scary movies. Oh no. He really did it there. <sighs> this movie, I give it one shit stain. I say don't watch this shit, but if you want to, that's up to you. It's on Voodoo. I'll be back next time to talk to you about the Velocipaster. See you guys next time. Stay classy, folks.